This is Joseph Lebrecht with another look at Adobe Animate CC. This time we're going to look at how to convert ActionScript to JavaScript. So here I have an ad, and it's just a basic ad. Let's have a look at it. We'll go to Control Test, and it's exporting a Swift, and it plays within Flash Player. So the piece of ActionScript that I need to convert is actually when you click on it, it brings you to the page where you can then go and purchase the album. So what we want to do is convert this to HTML5 Canvas and also convert the interactivity. Let's go ahead and do File, Convert to, HTML5 Canvas. We'll just use the default name and save. And Animate goes and converts that for us. Now, right here is the important bit. Frame scripts have been commented. So let's go ahead and actually, if we scrub through here, we can see it, it looks pretty much the same as it did before. So it's converted all our animations and our assets just fine. However, we do need to convert any of the action script into JavaScript because Animate will not do that for us. So let's choose Window, Actions, and you can see that it's all uh, grayed out here. It's commented out. On frame one, we have our click action, and on frame 80, we have just a simple stop action. Now, one of the nice things about ActionScript and JavaScript is they're all based off of ECMAScript, and the CreateJS libraries used in HTML5 Canvas are modeled after what we've been doing in action script for years on the flash display list. So if I uncomment this dot stop, that's really all I need to do there because our movie is going to stop. This is the same exact piece of code whether we're using action script or JavaScript. Going to frame one, this is a little more complicated, but not, not too bad. What we're gonna do is put a couple more lines down here. And what we'll do is go up here to add using wizard, and then we get to pick out a couple things here. So we want to go to a web page. And it prompts us to put in an address. I'm going to paste in the address to Slumberfault in there. And hit next. And what we want to do is select a triggering event of mouse click. And an object for that triggering event. I have this movie clip symbol with an instance name of clicker that overlays everything, and it's simply invisible, but we can select that and hit finish and add. All right, this put a ton of comments in here, but it's basically going to do the exact same thing. Let's save this and do a control test. All right, so here's our ad, and once we click on it to buy, no. So obviously that's not working. I'm clicking and it's not going anywhere. That's a little weird thing to do with how HTML5 Canvas handles completely transparent objects like our clicker. Let's go back to animate and we're gonna unlock the layer with the clicker on it. I'm gonna select that object. You can see it as an instance name of clicker. And here in our alpha color effects, all we need to do is set this to something like a 1% transparency, and that'll still look fine. And then go ahead and choose once again, control test. All right, now when we click on this, there we go. So dealing with action script to JavaScript conversion is really gonna depend on how complicated your original content is. A simple ad like this, Fairly simple, but there are a few gutchas. Anything more complicated, and things are going to get more complicated.